Hello guys and welcome to my Winter Todd guide. This is going to show you how to get started with Winter Todd solos so that you can get the best chance at getting some good loot. Solos are a little bit worse XP per hour but they make up for it in having a much better chance at getting Tome of Fire and other big ticket items for Iron Men and also just generally. So the first thing you're going to need are four pieces of worn clothing and the four that I recommend are the uh, Clue Hunter gloves and boots which are southwest of the fishing guild. There's an oak tree. Take a spade, google Clue Hunter boots and gloves and they'll show you exactly where the spot is if you can't find it. A staff of fire is really really easy to get and a rainbow scarf you can buy from Django or Diego whatever he's called in Draenor. I'm quite high health, so Winter Todd solos are not really that AFK, to be honest with you. But they, I just, I really want to get a Tome of Fire, basically, so that's why I'm here. Hello, Mr. Frog. Winter Toad. So I've got 20 salmon, you need an axe, a tinderbox, you need at least a steel axe, I think. A tinderbox, a hammer, and a knife. And then I've got graceful pieces where I don't have warm clothing. I can actually bank this fire staff to save a bit of run energy, but I won't do that right now. First thing you always do is peek to make sure there's no one in there, and there is no one in there, and then you just wanna enter in. Once inside, you wanna check and make sure that none of the wizards are dead. If the wizards are dead, then the solo, uh, someone has already failed a solo winter tod. So you're gonna have problems, so it's best just to find a fresh world where all the blaziers, braziers are just unlit like this. All we do at the beginning is we run round and we put uh, rapid heal on if you've got it and we just want to light the braziers one at a time. You don't really need to pick the herbs just yet, you just want to get the braziers lit so that Todd starts losing as much health as possible so that Todd stops doing damage basically. So the goal here, if you have the agility shortcut use it obviously, if not then you're just going to have to run round in a circle and hope and pray. I'm a good boy on my bronze man. I did all of my agility training early on. If you want to check out my bronze man series, then please do. I'm doing an iron man, bronze man, PVP style thing, which fits my play style very, very nicely. And I'm here for a tome of fire, basically. So at the moment we're good and all the braziers are lit. So to not take any damage, I'm just gonna stand here. And if either of these two braziers um, become unlit, I'm going to light them. In this spot here, Todd doesn't do any damage to you. You can't fletch or anything, you can't do anything useful, but it's a good way to conserve food because if you're going for the 13,500 points, which is the maximum amount of points you can get from a solo and your best chance at getting an item, I think, that's how it works, I don't really know, then you want to conserve food basically as much as possible. I'm going to run out, I'm going to fix this, and this is going to give me construction XP. If you're a new Iron Man, definitely make sure you unlock houses first of all. And also, I think you need some fletching levels as well to get the fletching XP. You also, for this method, you need farming and herbal, so you need druidic ritual done as well. Otherwise, you can't uh, restore the pyromancers. So you make sure you've done druidic ritual as well. I'm going to grab two of these herbs right now. Are three. I'm gonna make these. Oh, try and dodge those falling snowballs because they will, they will do a lot of damage to you, even if you're level three. Okay, let's make three potions. Todd's health is getting down, but as you can see, um, oh my god, someone's shouting outside. Please. <laughs> uh, the braziers are going out, so you need to keep them lit. The reason I'm showing you all of this kill, despite my neighbor shouting, is um, because I watched a video on how to do this and they didn't really explain how to get Todd to 40% health properly. So I'm showing you the entire process. Let's light this one here. Now they're just going out all, all the time, so definitely helps to have high agility for this. But we're getting at 40% now anyway, so I'm gonna light this one. I'm probably not gonna light the one up there. I think we only need two lit really. So I'm gonna start cutting. And then at this point, it's fairly, it's not really AFK. I wouldn't say AFK at all. You wanna keep the brazier lit unless 
Todd gets to like 5% health, in which case you want to just let Todd regenerate a little bit, otherwise you might accidentally kill it before it gets to the 13,500 point. It doesn't really matter if you kill it before that, but yeah, everyone wants 13,500 points. So. so Todd is not really at risk of dying here, so I'm just going to throw these in and start gathering points. And then you just want to do this until you have the maximum amount of points that you want. Like I said, you want to be really conservative with food. If you're high health, you're probably going to run out of food the first time you do this. And you won't get to 13,500. But yeah, like I said, it doesn't really matter that much. Definitely be wary of the falling snowball there. And uh, the construction XP from this is so nice. I've almost got 40 construction from that. That's crazy. I was already 31 when I started. But still, that's just from three Todd solos. It takes about an hour, by the way. The video I watched as well didn't tell me this. I didn't realize it took so long. So it takes an hour to get 13,500 points, basically. So make sure you're in it for the long haul if you if you want to get 13,500 points. You can also just get 6,000 points or, or whatever. But the reason it's best to do the 13,500 is because, as you saw, it took about 5 to 10 minutes to set Todd up. Um, and now... When the brazier is lit, Todd, and this guy is up, Todd doesn't really do damage to you. Very, very occasionally, Todd will still hit you. But in general, as long as the uh, pyromancer is healed and the brazier is lit, I don't think Todd really does damage. So he'll probably do damage to me now because I'm fletching. So let's light this so he doesn't. And keep feeding. And yeah, I, I keep this amount of salmon because I've, I want to get to 13,500 points. But you can definitely just get 4,000 points and that's fine. You don't really have to go all the way. But yeah, that's pretty much it guys. And I hope this helps some people. It can be quite a annoying boss to get used to. So I guess the more videos that are made about how to solo Todd, the better it's going to be for people. I would say this is best for Iron Men. If you're just a main who wants to get 99 fire making and get the hell out, then I would just go to a Winter Todd world instead of doing Winter Todd solos because it's not as good XP, basically. But the XP is still really good. I was getting about 120,000 fire making XP last night, an hour, which is really, really nice. And I was getting teak seeds. And loads of other really, really useful stuff for a bronze man slash iron man. I don't really know what to call myself. I don't know if I'm a bronze man or not. <laughs> I'm not really a bronze man like framed, so, or goody. Okay, yeah, the reason you fletch as well, it gives you more points. It's more efficient to get to the higher points if you're fletching. And also, fletching XP in kind of the med game of iron man is really, really nice for money if you don't want to craft battle staffs so definitely i would fletch but you don't really have to if you don't want to another thing i'll mention is once you've got the amount of points that you want you want to get at least six thousand points otherwise you may as well just go to the world three whatever it is the winter todd world the last thing i want to mention because again the video i watched didn't mention this is how to actually kill winter todd uh, after you've soloed him or it i don't really know what it is um, all you do is you just do what you were doing at the start of the solo which is just lighting all the braziers so if you're worrying so let's say you're you've got zero food left and you're you know 15 HP definitely start lighting the braziers don't try and risk it because you'll lose all your points if you're trying to get if you try and get the 13,500 points basically and if you fail you're gonna lose the points and that will just be way way worse than just getting less than 13,500 points and calling it a day but yeah that's pretty much it I've got 500,000 uh, fire making XP in probably about three and a half hours here I would say so yeah that's it that's the end of my guide guys thanks for watching and check out my bronze man if you want to peace out